Got this small block out here. It's 355. Yeah. Get ready to fire up on the stand and see what in the hell is going to happen. So, I know it'll fire up, but company, company vehicle sponsored by uh, HDS. Oh yeah. Channel sponsored. Sponsored by HDS. HDS equipment. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For providing light, crane, power. Welder, yeah. air compressor, yeah. all kinds of shit, isn't it? So we're going to throw this thing on the stand, and uh, we're shopless. We are shopless. <laughs> so we are uh, getting this thing fired up right under the canopy of his house. I bought a personal case. It was very clean. And I threw the brake clean. He threw the brake clean. How are you supposed to use it if you threw it? I bought a case the other day for the company. Can't see nothing. And, and a thing of paper towels. Oh, dude, those are the shit. For personal use. Those, those are the, the shit. Stuff in the truck and I just chuck my shit back here. So, we're going to get this thing on the stand. Fire it up because it hadn't been fired up. It's a fresh build. 355. It's a 604 rotating assembly, 30 over, with some flat tops in it and some uh, decked 906 heads. Which will hopefully help compensate for the non-zero deck block. We had it laying around. The only thing that sucks about it is the pistons are 36 thousandths down in the hole at top dead center. So quench area is not really tight. Subject. That's Whatever that fucking means. So, it'll run. It'll run good. Real good. It'll run good until we get the 383. Yeah, we're gonna run open headers right here. Once a year. And I'm sure the neighbors are gonna love that. Oh, they're gonna love it. They can get over it. Yep. And uh, it's got good oil pressure. Everything seems good. Maybe heat cycle the motor a little bit. Run it for just a couple of minutes. No cooling system or anything. So currently, we are moving this motor because we have to migrate. So we're gonna gather everything up. Get this thing hooked up, the crane, and uh, get to move somewhere else. Let's get that. Got all the parts. We went and got everything that we needed. Um, a little time lapse going on right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we're gonna get it up in the air and move it down there and get it fired up tonight. Hopefully, if not, it'll be tomorrow, next day. No worries. But yeah, I'm gonna raise this thing up and uh, move her on down the road. Move her on down the road. What you getting out there? What you getting? Playing bolts. Oh shit. I'm in a bag now. Yeah, we need all those. Yep, got LS metric thread and Nice. Oh, thing. Where are you going? Oh shit. Yep, so we're gonna move this thing. And uh, I'll get everything set back up once we are back in business. What we were doing currently. So we shall see. Ain't that right? That's right. Oh yeah. This is my second attempt because last time I tried to do this, it was. You'll see it. Just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is. All right, you ready? Oh, this you ready? is sketchy. Okay. All oh, right. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay. Keep drinking it. I think I would have flipped the jug maybe upside down. Like the other way. It's all right. The air. Oh, check that out. They have this little tube. This right takes there. the whole five quarts, doesn't they it? They have this little tube. Yeah, this lets takes the air go up. It takes five quarts, right? Yeah, dump it all in there. We don't. Oh, whoa, now. Whoa, now. Filling the funnel up. We're good. 
Okay. Alrighty. That's that. So we got a pan on this thing. We got a starter in there. Big old massive stock starter. And uh, got our long tubes. We can't obviously fit these in the truck, but we're just gonna stick it on here. We may fire it up tonight, may fire it up tomorrow. Tonight. I don't know, we'll see. What time is it? 1.03. So, AM. As you can tell, it is dark. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, steep observation, Captain. <laughs> so, we are going to move this thing down the hill and fire it up tomorrow. I'm going to call it a night. It's getting a little bit late. It's too late. We want to go home. We want to sleep. It's been a long day. We went, up, we went down to Shadyside and watched a couple of races. And uh, it's been a long day. So, we'll come back tomorrow and wrap this thing up here here it run and we'll go from there well we're back day two and a starter. yeah got a starter and a late start <laughs> it is uh 6 15 <laughs> and uh we're just getting started just getting started <laughs> get it yeah starter yeah. started yeah uh, <laughs> started but cameron done went to crank that thing over and the cheap little starter we had on it right, right, right. yeah it did not want to did not want to work at all motor wasn't tight i pulled all the spark plugs out of it spun over just fine what is she doing who knows so we needed a Might performance like yeah but yeah the Got fucking the, the hell that i don't know who that filler is Around some weird Grom thing. Weird Grom thing. That's a Grom. It's some weird little tiny kind midget bike. Yeah, midget bike. But uh, we're going to throw the starter on. And that's the. Uh, uh, this is going to be fun because the pan is underneath the starter and the header's on the outside. <laughs> Pump is way off. What do you think, advanced or retarded? That's too advanced. Check. Step. Well, cap on the point. Well, I know when I set it up, zero was pretty much right there. It was definitely too advanced, though. So. Usually when you got them retarded, you get wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah, it won't sit there and spit the fireball. I've always had that when it's <laughs> advanced. When you got it, that's like why you got to have the little switch on your race car. Too retarded, they'll pop back to the intake. So, so finicky. Probably a little bit too much. So, we didn't have a really anything kind of built it backwards. Yeah, we gotta really see what it is. We need to see what we got going on. That is no bueno. You can get it 180 off, do you? It might be. Really easy to do. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Pointing to eight. The timing was 180 off, like yep. you said. You're right, Terry. It's spitting fire at the, at the hitters. And if it's getting fire and it's getting gas, it's going to try to start. Yeah, it's going to yeah. try to start. It ain't trying to start. It's misfired. That's why you get the explosion in the... In the carb and the exhaust. Basically lighting that gas when the exhaust valve is completely yeah, open. You can do that two ways, Marshall. You can do it the easy way or the hard way. You can pull the distributor out and move it. Or you could have moved all your spark plug wires. True. Yeah, we made our spark plug wires you fit with the headers one anywhere on the cap. i know but the right way to do it i've done that like when you get it off right a little way, bit one. i've done that when i've dropped the distributor in on the wrong gear all right we got the timing sorted we think she's getting ready to go pick it up oil pressure right there what is that ignition uh oil pressure's up there on that gate. yeah that's the door 
Hey, you don't have that spark plug in over here. Mustard yellow wires. Mustard. Look at that spark plug, bro. I don't know where it said. Is it in the valley? Struggling to do this one handed. There we go. Just hand tied it. So number one is now there. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of what this would do if it had a little bit different intake. Mm -hmm. Let's try it there. You got to plug in and plug wire. Yep. See where you roll. Oh, that was a lot of torque. Yeah. That was a lot of torque. That's why we really should put this on that big stand. Yeah, that thing did not like that. <laughs> it started to roll over. I'm to try to hold it. Oh, God. Remember what happened last time? It was a starter. Yeah, it caught the starter. It's a used oh. cam, it's a roller cam. Well, that's all we need to hear there. Yep, she fired up, sound pretty rowdy. Yeah, we got great oil pressure. Got oil pressure, yeah. What was it, 75? It, it, it was, high, it was in between 50 and 75, yeah. which is probably 60. We need to do a valve adjustment on it. Yeah. Run through the valves. That was, that was pretty good. That boat right there, I had that that's a lot to do on that stand that's for sure yeah most definitely oh that was loud <laughs> that was loud <laughs> badass though isn't it hold on you better you better i think our battery's going dead you better fuck that wire up with the flex plate i but think oh we done i think we've gone too far that way yeah we went too far yeah we we got out of our because we moved the wires around Okay, I think we're out of battery now. That's what it was. I wouldn't think because we moved our wires, we shifted them. Yeah. Well, you got another battery? No, not really. You got a tender we can hook up to it or something? No, not really. <laughs> well, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Let's just see if it'll pop off. Mm. Well, we got a video of it running. I do. We heard it running. I'd like to know what that sound was. Uh, it sounded like something was going ting ting. I think that was. Uh, I think we need to adjust the valves and get the ignition timing set correctly. Maybe some 93. Well, I don't think the 87's a problem. But uh, we, we don't know what the ignition timing was. So if we had it kind of in the ballpark of like kind of where I was kind of trying to put it it's not going to do the same because we're on 87 right. so if we had it advanced we know we had it advanced so probably too much for 87 so 
Yep, most definitely. Also, this is the truck it's going in. This is my truck, and it's been it's been through some things. She's seen better days, but it's gonna go in this truck, and uh, got everything set up. Got motor mounts in this. We had a stock motor in it. Bone stock 350. Day. Yeah, I drove it one time. And had a dent in the oil pan, cavitated the oil pump. I whacked the throttle and it uh, did not enjoy that. Uh, it did great cruising around at low RPM. Yeah, because that transmission, that would have been perfect. we, he revved it out, cavitated the oil pump, starved three main bearings, spun those, and uh, tore up a rod bearing pretty good. So that's why we're building a 383 in the It happens. Line. It happens, y'all. If you've never blown a motor, you weren't trying hard enough. And I stand by that. You know you've had your fair share of blown motors. Runaway diesels. You know. You gotta try hard enough. If not, there's no fun in the game. Come on now. But uh, yeah, this is the truck. It's just a little single cab, short bed, S10, you know, run of the mill. It's filled with parts right now, but for the most part, the interior's clean. Smells like shit in here though. Dash a little fucked up in that seat over I mean, there's a little fucked up. We're gonna redo this whole thing eventually. I don't know when. But yeah. This is it. Also, y'all might be wondering why uh the audio and video quality might be a little different. Cause we are filming on a GoPro now versus iPhone. iPhone works great, but I decided to buy a GoPro just for all the shenanigans and Sticking it to things and getting videos of it. So we'll, we'll do some crazy stuff with it. Hopefully in the near future. Stick it on the Camaro or side by side or this. And get some get some runs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we have a, a tendency of breaking his dad's shit every time he goes out of town. But it... We don't try to. No, we don't try to. We try to actually baby it and it just ends up broken. And No, we're better off to beat the crap out of it. Yeah, well, uh, I didn't. We tried that last time. It didn't work. Out. No, we done fucked up it side by side. He wasn't too happy about that. Michael, if you're watching, it wasn't us. The raccoon did it. Yeah, it was the raccoon. <laughs> it was the damn possum, man. It was the possum, man. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why it might look a little different, sound a little different. Got a little microphone on here. I'm wondering if the pants gonna clear. That's exactly what I was questioning. You said, yeah, it'll clear clear just fine yeah. doubting it now yeah now. well it is a g-body came out of a g-body car uh, it came out of a dirt track car it's what it's meant for it's a g-body uh, oh shit Pan. i don't think it will what I've been saying the whole time. But you insisted on that pan. Find a cross member. <sighs> Any pan. Cross member delete. Tube chassis. Let's just build a tube chassis while we're at it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, so. I got the means to do that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See how nicely we notched out the. Uh, holes to put the motor <laughs> motor mounts you gotta in. get to the nuts on the back so yeah those are really clean cuts right there <laughs> yep. yep so that's where we're at with it we'll see what we're gonna do yeah y'all find out oh. All right. action camera oh, God. action camera do a lot of action with the camera. Oh, shit. Action camera. This is an action camera. Uh-huh. Why don't you just go, why don't you go right here and down to the middle? I don't know if that's going to really do what we're trying to do. That great. Why not? I'm torquing it. It's going that way. Simple geometry. Well, if you torque it, it goes that way. If you strap it down from there to there. We'll see what it does. It should, should still do the thing and keep it off of the header. Yeah.
Okay. Might work. Might not. No, we'll find out. Well, we started uh, checking tolerances, and camshaft definitely has too much lift. Uh, bent another push rod. I think it was uh, this one. This one right here. I don't know if you can see it very well. the camera. Yep, done bent it all up. So we got too much lift in the camshaft. So we're going to need some 1-4 rockers to reduce the lift. And we're still going to try to run this camshaft. Hopefully it takes out enough lift to clear. That, I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure how much that'll do. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. We heard it run. Uh, but it's unfortunate that... Uh, the, the camshaft's not gonna work with those rockers, so we're gonna get it. Get it. We had some. We had some little springs to put on there when we were putting this together. We could have sat there and figured out what the max lift of these heads were. We didn't. We just kind of winged it, and this is where it got us. So. It's a lesson, kids. Don't wing it. Always know what you're doing. We may pop one of these springs off. Get us a little spring little test spring to stick on there we'll put some air in the spark plug hole in the cylinder to hold the valve up and we can take that keeper and retainer loose and pull those springs off i believe i think those are dual springs we got the little one on the inside but we'll put a little weak little spring on there we'll press it down and get it where it's just about to kiss the valve stem seal measure how much clearance we've got there see if we can find a good good reliable spec sheet on that camshaft and uh then we'll do a little bit of simple math and see what ratio rockers we're going to have to have to keep it from absolutely plunging the valve down too far and destroying push rods. In the process of getting some new, we're probably just going to run some other, you know, simple stamp steel rocker arms. In the process of ordering that stuff, we'll probably get a little bit better push rod. So we're going to get some stuff, do some simple calculations, and that'll probably be in the next video. Most definitely. So. Y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.